Assalamu alaikum dear friends I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching civil engineer at site youtube channel so guys today I am here with you to answer some of your questions the first one most of the people are asking that I am here in KSA since seven months eight months nine months ten months but still i am not getting any response so it's hard for me to respond to any everyone on the comments because mostly i'm receiving the same questions the first thing for detail you can watch videos i have uploaded a lot of videos on such a topic how to get job where to search a job how to prepare uh, CV and about LinkedIn profile, expatriate website, but no issue. Here I, uh, I will explain it again. The first thing: if you are fresh in Saudi Arabia, or you are a fresh graduate, no issue. I will never suggest Saudi Arabia to freshly graduated engineers. But in case if you are here, so you can try these uh, tips to get response from the recruiter and company. The first thing, how to prepare a CV for uh, engineers who are uh, fresh in Saudi Arabia. If you, if you have a five year experience, three year or four year five five or six seven eight whatever is your experience you have to show minimum three to four year experience in your cv in saudi arabia now you will think that i came here uh, freshly so how i will show it no issue mention mega projects with small subcontractors or small companies second thing how to just how you will justify it with the experience letter so when you mention small companies and mega projects it means that you have a good experience but now the thing is coming that how you will justify it you can tell them i was working with the company through a manpower supplier one thing the second thing that I was working with the company as a freelancer so because of that they didn't give me the certificate the third thing you can told them also that I was not getting my salary for one or two or three months that's why I leave the company and I resigned and they didn't give me the experience certificate now these were some general justification but the most important thing is that how you will get that job for that you have to prepare yourself very well for the interview so from where you will get the uh, preparations so as you know that i think i have uploaded more than 12 or 13 videos in the playlist uh, interview question and answer for civil civil site engineer and qqc engineer civil and mostly i have uploaded uh, all the documentation all the important uh, topics about a qqc engineer mostly which is which are generals it means that that uh, mechanical or electrical qqc engineer also can learn from that like itp is wr mr etc so it will help you in your interview okay the other thing which we will discuss that when we have to submit our cv to the recruiters and how to prepare our cv now if you are a jobless it means you have a lot of time so prepare yourself for the interview now the second how to prepare the cv so whenever you received any advertisement or uh, vacancies so study 
study at will the all the advertisement what they need from you what are their requirements so as per their requirements update your cv so it will increase the chances of selection of your cv for the interview and after that you have to mention the what you have to mention the subject for the position which you are going to apply you have to mention that position in the subject or check the advertisement if they ask you any specific code on uh, subject in the email subject then you have to mention that one after preparing your cv then now you have to submit it through email so the important thing when you have to when or which time you have to send your cv it should be working hours and working days never submit your cv on thursday at the end of the day or saturday mostly you have to submit your cv in the morning time 11 12 or 10 o'clock also don't submit your cv during lunch time or never call a person or recruiter during lunch break or after the working hours because it will minimize your chances of selection now what you have to write in the email body some uh, people are writing a very long email which is not a good thing just write a short intro of yourself and your experience and your qualification background in the email which is enough for a recruiter or a recruitment specialist to know about you okay guys after the if you um, submit your cv in a proper time then you will receive a call from the hr or recruitment department and mostly that call is an initial interview they will ask about your uh, current company your salary expectation your experience so if you pass that interview it will lead you to the technical interview which will be taken by the your manager quality manager or construction manager or whatever you for the position you are applying so as per that position and as per that department the manager will take your interview for the technical interview you have to prepare yourself very well and if you are not prepared and you are not in the confidence you have a pair in your heart so the chances of selection will be less the most important thing is the confidence in the interview let me answer some questions sir Mudassir walaikum salam do companies respond when we submit cv on their website yes they have prepared their website and the portal for the cv selection this is the most important thing and whenever they need the people in the emergency first of all they are checking their website portal that any cv are here which are uh, which they can call you if you are uh, CV or in your experience as per their requirements. Haris Wazir, which field is easy to start with uh, as a pressure in case a side engineer QC? Every field in case I need experience, dear. If you are a fresh, then you have to start your career in Pakistan. But I'm sorry, pressure civil engineer diploma, any job? Dear, if you have a diploma and you are a fresh, so it's very hard. Because a lot of uh, engineering graduates are here and they are jobless. So in case, uh, let me explain it. In case you have an eight year experience with the diploma and a graduate engineer has a five year experience. So the graduate engineer will get that job. Okay. Sartaj Aziz, please send me the Neom QC job WhatsApp group. Thanks. Azhar Mehmud, Assalamu Alaikum Wa Alaikum So guys. After passing the technical interview, then uh, mostly in two weeks or three weeks, you will get the offer letter. Then you have to study that offer letter that whatever you uh, discuss interview and you agreed on the offer, is it there or not? After uh, signing the uh, offer letter, then they will send you the agreement and the most important part of your career is you have to study very well the agreement 
what they are mentioning there what are the conditions especially the termination condition for the contract which is the most important to study it very well okay guys so this was a short session about the cv preparation sending your uh, sending your cv to the recruiters and about uh, tips the interview what are the requirement for qs same if you have a uh, experience in the qs you should know about the excel and the relevant software for that and you should have a good knowledge about the estimation bob the trader how can we decide the grade of concrete for any work it will be not decided by you it will be decided by the consultant and consultant will decide it, it through project specification job responsibility of site engineer can say dear mother sir uh, on job responsibility of site engineer and qc engineer i have uploaded a detailed video so watch that video it will be good for you Harris was here. I asked for fresh in KSA, one who have already three to four years in experience park, which period is more rewarding and since uh, promotion keeps your side engineer. Dear, it depends on your abilities. If you have a uh, good knowledge of standards, international standards, uh, codes and quality, then you have to, you should join the QC. If you have a good management skill, then you have to join the site engineer and both you will get the same promotion if you are eligible. I am doing government job in Pakistan since two, but now I want to move any other country for some time. Trade experience in construction period in Pakistan. Okay, Azhar Mahmood. What's your qualification? Diploma or graduation? But it's okay if you have diploma or graduation, you have a NAP experience. But you have to show some experience in Saudi Arabia or if you are going to any other country because they will not hire you as a, that you have experience in Pakistan. Okay guys, thank you so much. Keep me remembering your prayer. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friend. Thank you so much.